Hi, my surprise leaders over in the Bundesliga, but they got good company hot on their heels. Can they extend their lead at the top of the table? We'll get into it. All of it next. <laughs> That's right, folks. Back once again with another video. Today we're taking a look at the Bundesliga with the next round of games just around the corner with a surprise leader at the top of the table. Of course, can they be there at the end of this weekend's action? We're going to get into it all of it in a second. If you're new, where you've been, smash your subscribe button. One stop shop for Bundesliga is right here under Waruski. Bayern under company, still in good company at the top of the table, and they will hope to regain the lead this coming weekend. We'll take a look at that and more in a second. Big, big shout out once again to the VIPs. They are the patrons. You know who you are. And again, if you're new, a smash your subscribe and check out the links are down uh, below. Ski. So, without further ado, we're going to recap last weekend's action uh, before the international break and then kick on forward with the next round of games. All right, then, folks, here we go with a recap of the last match of round of games, which was before the international break. And Union Berlin got a big win over St. Pauli, who continued to struggle. I'm one of the two and win myself. Stuttgart Mites with a six goal thriller. Drei, drei, final score over in Stuttgart. Frankfurt with a big 3-1 win over Hoffenheim. I went with a 2-1 win. Uh, Dortmund st stumbled against Bremen. nil nil in the end. I went with a 2 nil win on the road. My boys, Mitchell Club, with a 2 nil win over Bochum there. 3-1 uh, arm was my pick. Uh, Wolfsburg with a 2 nil win against Holstein Kiel under Hausenhurdl. Uh, Ralph Hausenhurdl is in the business. Uh, meanwhile, Leipzig uh, picked up a monster win against Leverkusen. The dent there, uh, amazing run of games. Uh, but it's over now. Maybe the Le Leverkusen will come crashing back there. But uh, hey, I got the scoreline right, just the wrong way. 3-2 it was for Leipzig. Heidenheim with a big 4 in the win over Augsburg. Are they the real deal? They're in Europe as well this week. Uh, and of course, Bayern, 2 0 winners against Freiburg. Uh, I'm with a 3 0 win as well. So, my picks ain't too shabby. What about your picks? Let's have a little look at them then, shall we? As you can see, it clash a man, kicks ass and takes some names uh, with an impressive 12.5 points. Liam VK in good company, though, uh, in second with Sammy Boy as well. Where the heck am I? I'm down there with eight. Not great for me. Me and Saki. I've uh, got stars above our head. We have star pupils. Uh, KP21 up there. The Kingslayer. Sammy Boy. Costas K. Russell Frost. All in good company. That's, of course, for the round. Uh, is that the correct round? I think it is the correct round. Let's take a look at the leaderboard, though. The leaderboard shows Liam VK still kicking ass and taking names. Costas K moving up one spot to number two. But the Clash Man is the man to stop. Up 15 spots to number three. Uh, with Ultra Oma Murat not too far away either. The Frosty also there. Always there. Uh, and, of course, Sammy Boy. Of 12 spots to number 8. I am down 3 to number 12. But hey, it's a marathon, not a sprint. Look at Worsty. Worst will be up there. You watch. Watch this guy. Watch this space. He'll be up there. Vinny Hong. Did I see Vinny Hong in there? Vinny Hong also doing well. I absolutely love it. So just two games played at the top of the table over in the Bundesliga with Heidenheim. Perfect record as a Bayern and RB Leipzig. Dortmund, no, not too far away. Union Berlin look like they're back to their old old shape. And much go back up there in six. Let's see it. Let's see it. Going down. If the season wants to end today, it'll be Holsten Kiel. It'll be Bochum. And it will be St. Pauli. If you want to get involved with the Prediction League, it is wide open, guys. Use the link. 100% free. Still plenty of time to get in here. It is a long, long race. All right, then, folks. Here is the next round of games. There's some absolute crackers on the agenda, including Gladbach against Stuttgart. We've got uh, Leipzig against Union Berlin. Wolfsburg against Frankfurt. But we're going to start at the top of the graphic with... Dortmund up against Heidenheim. That's right, Dortmund will kick us all off uh, this coming match day. Uh, and, of course, uh, hoping to climb a little bit of the table themselves. So let's get into it. Heidenheim, tip of the top of the graphic. They're top of the table as well, uh, taking on a, a Dortmund side who are a little bit uh, still trying to find themselves under the new coach. Nuri Zadin is the coach, uh, of course, from Turkey. Uh, Dortmund right now unbeaten in the last six matches. 83% form for them right now. I guess the Heidenheim side, six wins on the bounce under Frank Schmidt. 100% form for them. Uh, looking to continue that run this coming weekend. We've got three times they have played. Since 2014, one win for Dortmund, nothing for Heidenheim, two draws as well. Last time they played at this very venue was last season. It was back in September 2023 at match number three. Around about this occasion, it was a 2-2 draw. Wow, wow, wee, wow. Dortmund, on the back of that 0-0 draw against Bremen. Uh, Fry, uh, Heidenheim with a big 4-0 win over Augsburg. Uh, haven't conceded a goal in the last two in the Bundesliga. The odds for this one, 11-4 on is your Dortmund. 70-4 is the draw. 6-1 is your away win. If it was the other way, I would be going for at least a Heidenheim draw. But I'm going to go with a 2-0 win for Dortmund on this one. Let's head over next. Where are we going? 
We're heading over to Leipzig, that's right, Leipzig, RB Leipzig taking on Union Berlin, of course, at the Red Bull Arena, Leipzig and Marco Rosa, 75% uh, form for them now, sitting third in the table, uh, 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 impressive record, three wins on the bounce against the Union Berlin, side who look rejuvenated uh, with both Svensson at their helm, this match coming at you uh, on the 14th of September, Red, uh, Union Berlin on 58% form for them right now, sitting in fifth with four points on the season. Uh, and of course, most recently they did play at Leipzig back in February 2024. It was match number 20 with Leipzig picking up a 2-0 win. They did the double over Union Berlin last season, back-to-back -back clean sheets against them. And they come in just on the back of that monstrous 3-2 win at, Leib at Leverkusen to give themselves a fantastic start. Union Berlin with that one win over St. Pauli. And again, uh, unbeaten campaign so far for them this season. Uh, bookies for this one. What we're looking at here, we are looking at RB Leipzig, 51 to 21 on. Overwhelming favourites. 7 to 2 is the draw. 6 to 1 is your long shots. We are going with a 3-1 win for uh, Leipzig. That's right. Taking the points and moving the chains. All right, then, folks. Let's head over to Hoffenheim. They're the venue next. Taking on Leverkusen, the champions. That's right, Leverkusen under uh, Xabi Alonso looking to get back to winning ways up against Hoffenheim and Pellegrino Matarazzo at the Rhein Necker Arena. Uh, they played 33 times since 2003, eight wins for Hoffenheim, 19 wins for Leverkusen. They've got six draws as well. Uh, Hoffenheim, 42% form for them right now, just one defeat in the last three. Up against the Leverkusen side, also one defeat in the last five matches, 58% form for them as well. Last time around, of course, uh, at Hoffenheim, 3 2 win it was for Leverkusen. They've won three on the bounce against Hoffenheim, and of course, coming into this, though, on the back of the 3-2 loss against Leipzig. Uh, Hoffenheim with a 3-1 loss also to Frankfurt uh, in their last matches, uh, but bookies for this one, they go Hoffenheim 9-2 for the victory, 7-4 on Ishii Leverkusen, 31-10 is the draw. One defeat doesn't ruin the whole season. Leverkusen should be back to winning ways, especially on the road turf. Uh, sorry, not on the road turf, on the road. Uh, so I'm going to go with a 2-1 win for Leverkusen, squeaking over the line, and getting that three points once again. Let's head on over to Freiburg now as they entertain Bochum, of course, coming at you on the 14th of September, the Europa Star Park Stadion. Freiburg managed by Julian Schuster, 58% form for them right now, are coming into this one against Bochum and Peter Zeidler uh, coming into this on 33% form for them right now. They have played 26 times since 1994, 13 wins for Freiburg, 9 wins for Bochum, and there's been four draws between the two sides. Most recently, at this very venue, it was a 2-1 win for Freiburg back in October 2023, with Freiburg winning 6 on the bounce against Bochum, and they come into this on the back, though, of a loss against Bayern. Bochum were in action over the international break, so we're not really looking into that one, but to the most recently, they did lose in the league 2-0 to Gladbach. They haven't scored a goal thus far, have Bochum. Can they see them scoring a goal in this one? It's going to be difficult. Uh, the bookies for this one, we're looking at Freiburg. Where are we? Freiburg coming out to 11-8 on for the victory. 10-3 is your Bochum. 14-5 is the draw here. Uh, I am going with a 2-1 win. That's right, 2-1 win for Freiburg. Bochum scoring a goal, which of course could be, could be a start of something, and maybe they could start to uh, to find some points in the bag for the season. Let's head on over to Wolfsburg now, as Ralph Hussenhuttl's boys take on Eintracht Frankfurt at the Volkswagen Arena. Played 48 times since 1996, 24, 24 wins for Wolfsburg, 8 wins for Frankfurt, and 16 draws of course. Wolfsburg 67% form for them, and now just one defeat in the last six. They sit in sixth of the table with three points to the name against Frankfurt, who are ninth. Also with three points to the name and 67% form as well. Most recently, they did play over at Wolfsburg. It was a tuna win for the hosts back in September 2023. They are unbeaten against Frankfurt over the last six. Three wins and three draws. So uh, not the best opposition of Frankfurt for this one. They do come into this on the back of that 3-1 win over Hoffenheim. Wolfsburg picking up a tuna win over Kiel most recently uh, to give themselves a good start to the campaign. Uh, the odds for this one, Wolfsburg are 8-5 for the victory. 13-5 is the draw. 6-4 is your long shots. I am going with a 1-1 one, one draw, um, which continues that unbeaten uh, streak against Frankfurt for another game. All right then, folks, let's head over to my neck of the woods. That's right, it's Borussia Mönchengladbach taking on Stuttgart over at Borussia Park. Borussia Mönchengladbach managed by Gerardo Sioni. Uh, up against Stuttgart, Sebastian Hunis. Now, they have played 57 times, these two sides, since 1992. Gladbach with just 15 wins compared to Stuttgart's 26. And there's been 16 draws between the two sides. However, Gladbach come into this in sixth with uh, uh, three points on the table. 83% form for them right now. Just one defeat in the last six. Against Stuttgart, 58% form 
for them right now. They are 14th with just one point for the season, though. Uh, last time around at this very venue, it was a 3-1 win for Gladbach back in January 2024. The away side has not won this game since Stuttgart beat Gladbach back in May 2021. Gladbach on the back of that 2-0 win over Bochum. Stuttgart on the back of that 3-3 draw against Mainz. Uh, looking at this one, 7-4 is your Munchen Gladbach, 23-10 is your Stuttgart, 31-10 uh, 31 to 10 is the draw. Uh, going to go with my boys here, going to back them, 2-1 win, uh, 3 points to the bag, and away they go. All right there, folks, it's Holstein Kiel taking on heavyweights Bayern Munchen. That's right, coming at you on the 14th of September. Kiel managed by Massa Rapp. 42% form for them right now, 16th at the table, zero points on the docket against Bayern and Vinny Company sitting second with six points for the season as well. They played just once in 2021, that was in the DFP Pokal, and get this, it was a penalty shootout win for Holsten Kiel, wow, wow, we were back in January 2021. Wolfsburg uh, did beat Kiel most recently, 2-0 win there, uh, Kiel yet to get going, Bayern back-to-back uh, -back wins for them, beating Wolfsburg and Freiburg uh, in quick succession. Uh, quick look at the bookies' odds on this one, we haven't got much to say here, 8-1 to one is Holston Kiel, 4 to 1 on is your Bayern, 21 to 4 is the draw. Realistically, it's going to be only one winner, and that's going to be Bayern with a 2 0 win uh, on the road to continue the pressure on the big boy. All right, folks, let's head over to Augsburg now as they take on St. Pauli coming at you on Sunday, September the 15th. Augsburg managed by Jess Tollop, 58% uh, form for them right now, just one defeat in the last four up against the St. Pauli side, back to back defeats in the league, 67% form for them under Alexander Blessing, of course. Six times they have played over the course of time, since 2007 anyway. Three wins for Augsburg, two for St. Pauli, and there's been one draw between the two sides. Last time they played at this very venue, it was a 3-2 win for Augsburg back in November 2009. That's in the Spite of Bundesliga. Uh, Bund uh, uh, Augsburg on the back of that 4-0 loss to Heidenheim. Uh, St. Pauli with that 1-0 loss to Union Berlin. And it's been back-to-back -back goalless affairs. They're yet to score a goal for, uh, for St. Pauli in the Bundesliga campaign this season. Bookies, though, for this one. We're looking at Augsburg 21 to 20 for the victory. 5 to 2 is the draw. 13 to 5 is your away win. I think they will score here, but unfortunately, St. Pauli will lose. 2 1 win for Augsburg once again. And then finally, let's head over to Mainz, then, shall we, as they take on. Uh uh, they're taking on Werder Bremen, coming at you on uh, the 15th of September. Uh, Mainz managed by Bo Henriksen, up against Bremen Ole Werner. Uh, they played 34 times since 2004, 11 wins for Mainz, 16 wins for Bremen, 7 draws as well. Mainz, without a win in the last 3, 12th in the table, 2 points for the season, up against Bremen. 13th uh, for the table, 2 points for the season as well. 50% for them coming at you. Last time around over at this very venue, it was a 1-0 win for Bremen, who are unbeaten against Mainz over the last three, uh, picking up back-to-back -back wins uh, and back-to-back -back clean sheets as well. Bremen on the back of that 0-0 uh, draw against Dortmund most recently. Back-to-back -back draw so far for the season. Mainz on the back of that 3-3 draw against Stuttgart. They're the draw kings right here, right now. But uh, will those draw streaks continue? Mainz 10-9 on for the victory. 11-4 is the draw. 14-5 is the away win. Yes, it will. The draw streak will continue as I see this one pan out to be yet another draw. 1-1 one, one in the end. Uh, over at Mainz. That's my picks, guys. Don't forget to get your own picks in as well. Don't forget to look forward to the next round of games, which will be match number four over in the Bundesliga. Don't forget to get involved with the Super Brew, get involved with the predictions, and of course, we'll see you soon whenever we return. But until then, we are done.